Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. Uh, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces 100%. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Spirit messages for Pisces, please, in regards to love. Messages for Pisces, please. When it comes to love. Okay. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, good and bad. <laughs> and um, I can't respond to them all, but I do read them all. So thank you. Okay, we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Interesting. You might live at a distance from this person or there's some sort of rift or uh, emotional distance with this honeymoon card. That's what usually what I get. Uh, but the feelings are real. Healing family issues. There could be a family involved here. Children, possibly. Um, a situation with... A partnership I just keep getting these messages in these readings I don't know what's going on with third parties but that's the message guys you know that's what's happening okay this these are the energy Oracle cards all of the decks that I use are in the description box below all right let's see what else for Pisces I wanted to say cancer some of you could be dealing with a cancer for Pisces please spirit what do they need to know in regards to love what does Pisces need to know okay angel of balance I've gotten this like twice already for the other signs okay financial constraints I got this one for cancer any other map okay magician in the mirror and adjacent possibilities so uh, someone's trying to manifest a new door opening for them, a new possibility, um, a new opportunity. Finances might be an, a factor in, you know, whether that is a successful venture or is, you know, manifested. We'll see what we get. Hmm. I'm getting a few messages here. I get the sense that because I have a door here and several doors here, it's almost like one of these doors is going to be more expensive than the other. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but it's almost like it's going to cost something. And I don't mean money wise I don't know why I'm getting that message for Pisces for Pisces please this is a light seer's tarot I love this deck but I can't my hands are not big enough to shuffle this deck for Pisces please in regards to love for Pisces please I don't know if it's you manifesting Pisces or the person that you are thinking about. Let's see what we got for you. For Pisces spirit. Okay, we got the sun. Leo energy. We do reversals on this channel. So if you don't understand reversals, then you might as well click off now because, I mean, I can't choose what comes out and this whole spread could be reversed and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with reverse cards. It's just the message is different. That's really all that it means. You know, anybody who wants to comment on reversals being bad, please leave a comment so I know to block you. <laughs> Sorry. That was kind of mean, but really, I mean, why ignore what people say on these videos? I don't, I don't get it. 
Okay, Six of Cups reversed. Someone is stuck in the past. I, I just got these two cards have children in them. So there could be children involved here in some way. Ace of Swords reverse, uh, deception, lack of clarity, lack of communication. We'll see. I'm going to clarify all of these. Something is up with the past here. Someone cannot let go of the past or wants the past again. Tell me more. Sir. Pisces, Nine of Cups and Three of Wands. Someone could be waiting for the past to return here or waiting for a message from the past. I feel like this will make them very happy. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication. Tell me more for Pisces. Three of Cups reversed. Could be a third party situation here what is up with you guys in the third parties <laughs> i feel like i get them in every reading something's going on like with the planetary shifts and like with this new uh eclipse something is going on with everybody and i'm not an astrologer so you know <laughs> i just watch the videos just like everybody else um that's the only reason I know about these things. If you are watching anybody on YouTube that you really like that does astrology videos, please let me know who they are. Just tell me their name. Don't actually link them because um, YouTube will block your comment. Okay, let's get into this. Tell me about the sun because I don't want to get ahead of myself. Tell me about the sun. Clarity, illumination, happiness celebration spirit what do we need to know about this sun for pisces when it comes to love oh my gosh oh, that's way too many but they're wanting me to take them we got justice libra energy could be a legal situation could be a rebalance a, a justice something fair to you King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Wow. Amazing. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. There is an opportunity here to restore balance for you. And it's a big opportunity. I just heard once in a lifetime. Um... Yeah, and this is right under the Angel of Balance. This is going to make you very happy. This opportunity, I feel like it's going to help with, like, open doors. And I feel like it, it has something to do with someone you have feelings for. This is your wish being granted. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. So it's something you've been waiting for. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse for Cancer. This is Six of Cups. Here. Okay, we got Strength card reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, Leo energy here. So someone here is stuck in the past, but it's like um, like they don't have control over their emotions when it comes to the past. Um, maybe they're juggling two different things. Maybe they don't have the courage to make a decision one over the other because they're tied to the past, possibly. Strength reverse could be um, someone being weakened by the past, or maybe they, they just don't have the strength to deal with uh, a decision that has to do with the past. Like they don't really, they're not as confident when it comes to making decisions about the past, if that makes sense. Higher font reverse at the bottom. This is Taurus energy. This could symbolize uh, someone rebelling against what's ex what society expects from them or someone who is breaking a contract of some sort. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. Could be a delay in victory here, a delay in communication. Could be deception as well, let's see. 
Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Yeah, bad judgment call here with Ace of Swords reversed. What else for this Ace of Swords? Someone could be wanting a, a second chance, a revival, and they're blocked because of communication. Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they, it's like they're not able to get this offer off the ground, or maybe this is in the past. Yeah, Three of Swords in the world. If this is a third party situation, I feel like someone made the batch the wrong choice, which again, I keep getting that message. Um, this is a, a, a commitment or an offer, an opportunity that never took off here. Possibly because it wasn't the right place. And now someone wants like a do over or they want like a new beginning, a new chapter, a new cycle. They want to overcome this painful situation, this interference that they're dealing with. Tell me more for the Ace of Swords reverse, please. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords reverse, please. Yeah, th this was a um, situation that was not successful for someone. And now it's like they're thinking about uh, other possibilities, other options for themselves because this one didn't work out or it wasn't what they thought. Yeah, they had a change of heart. Four of Cups reversed. You could be dealing with a Gemini because I just did their reading and it, they had a big change of heart, like either them or their person. Okay, let's see. What about this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? This is a wish being granted, emotional fulfillment. Feeling satisfied and content. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Page of Swords reversed. What else? Holy crap. This is a lot. High Priestess. High Priestess, um, they kind of keep things to themselves. They are uh, very um, intuitive, powerful. They know things. They don't speak about them, but they know. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Independence, freedom, security, stability. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. This is financial constraints right here. Feeling uh, a distance um, in Nine of Swords. So this is like anxiety, um, stress, sleepless nights. Someone has been worried about their finances or about the struggles of doing things on their own. Um, someone wants to be stable or secure. Um, Someone's also worried because there hasn't been a lot of communication. There's a lot that they don't hear um, or haven't heard from someone. But this person's going to get their wish. I don't think they know it yet. Or maybe they're working on making this happen, manifesting this. Um, but if someone hasn't spoken to this person, I feel like their wish is going to be granted. Um, something here is emotionally fulfilling and it has to do with something that you know, but you can't talk about and it's going to give you independence and security here. And it's almost like you're going to overcome the stress, the struggles, um, the feelings of, uh, financial difficulty or, or whatever financial constraints you've had. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Replace these, please. What's this Three of Wands about? Mm 
the devil reversed, breaking free of an unhealthy attachment or a toxic environment. Five of cups reversed. So someone could be wanting to come back or, or wanting something back that they lost. Two of wands. A decision, choosing a path. Right under the two of pentacles, reversed here. It's like if they were unsure which one to choose, they've chosen it. And by making this different choice, by it's like they're waiting for the right time to make a decision to break free from something. Capricorn energy there. If you're looking for signs, I have Leo, strong Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. Those are the main ones. But if your sign's not there, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Just we all have a lot of signs in our charts. So I feel like with this Five of Cups reverse, someone's not over what happened in the past. Someone's not over someone else. Like, like you still think about them. You still think about the past. You're, you're stuck there. Yeah, so someone here is trying to avoid a tower moment. They don't want there to be pain in this new beginning. They don't want to hurt anybody else. But when you have a third party, it's really hard to do that. Third party interference. And a third party interference could be anything that's interfering in the connection. It does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be a parent, friend, family, uh, distance, fi uh, finances, something like that, fear, deception, that all of those things interfere in a connection. So someone here, I feel like part of this interference is a toxic environment and unhealthy attachment, and they need to choose a different path. Tell me about this Three of Cups Reverse. Three of Cups Reverse is essentially the card about like a third party being revealed or a third party being, some, someone being chosen. It also means party's over. Tell me about this three. Seven of wands reverse. What else for this three of cups reverse? Hangman reverse. More Pisces energy here with the hangman reverse. This is someone that is unable to let go or is stuck, um, doesn't want to sacrifice, doesn't want to give anything up, um, is unable to see things from a new perspective. So it's like someone wants to give, wants to stop fighting, stop dealing with opposition, wants to give up, but they're stuck. They can't let go. Keep getting these messages. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. It could also be that they're only able to see things from one angle, from one in one way, and it keeps them stuck. Tell me more about this Three of Cups reverse. The Fool reverse. Aries energy with the Fool reverse. So a new beginning is delayed. Something's very risky. Someone doesn't want to give sacrifice because it's too risky. Yeah, so it's like they're holding on, unable to let go here. Typically, the Four of Pentacles can mean that someone's ready to let something go. But because I have the hangman reverse here, I feel like this is someone that is holding on to something that they can't let go because letting go would be too risky. And so they don't want to fight. They don't want to have to, to deal with the opposition. And so, yeah, this is very heartbreaking. Yeah, this is a burden. This is a burden for this person, whoever this is. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, Pisces. But a beginning, a new beginning here is, is delayed and it's it's almost like someone needs to get over their own fears of being uncomfortable because it's like this person wants, there's two people here, by the way, I just want to say, 
there's two people in this spread. Someone started off getting exactly what they wanted. A new opportunity that balanced everything out for them. An opportunity, an opportunity that was right and fair to them. Okay. Um, something to do with children possibly here as well. And then there's someone who is dealing with A decision that they've made that was not successful um, and this decision is keeping them stuck and it possibly has to do with an interference I feel like these are two different energies here or this is like someone that started off great and has ended up here so I'm really hoping it's two two different people it feels like two different people it's like this person is doing really well overcoming their circumstances rising above, finding balance, dealing with the financial constraints, manifesting new possibilities. And then this other person is kind of like trying to break free, but is unable to. I think it has to do with a family issue and a lack of uh, courage, a lack of communication possibly, or the lack of, um, it's, it's like someone's not being 100% true with themselves or honest with themselves. So I want to see what's what's next here. What's going on here? First of all, I kind of want to look at this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Swords re like reverse here and put them side by side and figure out what's going on with each of those. Because I feel like they're very different energies. So I kind of want to see what's going on with each of those and what's next with each of those. This opportunity over here could be, you know, a love opportunity, financial opportunity, or an opportunity to bring a, a relationship to a higher commitment it could be anything otherwise i'll leave it here pisces thank you so much for checking out this reading i hope it resonated with some of you i hope you got something out of it thank you so much for your likes comments subscribes and yeah hopefully uh, this resonated with you if it didn't check out your other placements and i'll see you in another video take care